here yeah. in July of 2024. It yeah. seems like things took a turn. Um, we, you know, had dramatic events. Uh, Donald Trump's attempted assassination. Same yeah. day, Elon Musk comes out with a strong endorsement for him on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Beth Jezos, Mark mm -hmm. Andreessen, Peter Thiel's obviously are, are already there. Um, so, you know, without getting political, because I do not want to make this show political, but just speaking about AI risk, um, mm -hmm. what happened the last week or two with AI risk and politics? Because it sure seems like the ground moved under our feet. Yeah, so they they came up somehow with this um, as part of their party, as, as part of their platform to get rid of all these AI um, regulations. So this and, is the GOP, uh, the National GOP Republican was, Party platform. It was. It's, it's, it's on their platform. Yes, it absolutely is. They want to take away all these guardrails that are already in place. Before all this happened, and what they still don't realize is that AI is a bipartisan issue. It's a very strong, a, excuse me, it's a very strong bipartisan issue. Yeah, and with the yet, public. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And within two seconds, or not two seconds, but, in, you know, very quickly, this be, all of a sudden became a partisan issue. But I think what happened, and I've heard rumors that, that, that this happened, there were a lot of people actually frustrated with the bills out of California, such as Meta, and they were all, Meta and some of the bigger ones in OpenAI were upset uh, with, uh, with SB 1047. And, yeah. and like why Combinator came out and some others, like they even put out a website trying to stop 1047. Yeah. And they got frustrated with this. I think they can see the writing on the wall that, that all these bills that I mentioned earlier actually have bipartisan support in the state of, Con in the state of California. Um, so they're, you know, they're, they're passing the committees they need to pass. So those bills are doing very, very well. They're going to move regardless, I think. And so I think they can see the, I think they saw that writing on the wall. So I think that's what happened is that they use their contacts to get the JD Vance. And then they use their contacts to get the President Trump and they use those contacts to get into the platform. Um, yeah. To get them to roll back the regulations because they see, they see that as stifling innovation. It's in the GOP platform, but I don't think right. the average GOP voter is like we need to repeal all the AI laws. Um, no, right. Any no, change, I don't, you know, I haven't heard I, a lot of people saying that actually. But right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I imagine if you ask the average voter Republican, is that in your platform? They would not be unaware of it. It seems like something Correct. you know at a more subtle level. Um, yes, what are is. your thoughts about as the regular people start to figure out this is what the party's trying to do? And you know, polling is 70, 80 percent. Everybody wants to regulate AI and not make something smarter than us that could kill us that we don't understand or, uh, you know, right. how it works or how to control it. Um, right. Do you think they'd be able to make this like a citizen level tribal issue in America today? I'm not so sure. I don't know. But I think I think once it gets the word out, I think people will, will, will try to fight this.